Hi, welcome to Plus This. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Webinar Jam connection. So the Webinar Jam connection is a great tool if you want to connect Webinar Jam with your Infusionsoft or Keep uh, automations or campaigns here. And this is handy because now you can register people for your webinars by sending out emails to your existing list and just giving them a link to click. And when they click that link, great, they accomplish the goal, they get registered, you now can send them the reminders from your own Infusionsoft or Keep emails. Um, these emails can have your own branding on them, it can have countdown timers, you can add in things like SMS reminders, all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty powerful and you can still do what you're used to. So you can register people for webinars using a landing page, but this time now you can use whatever landing pages you like um, with your branding on it that are better designed or have more flexibility than what's built in with just the standard webinar jam uh, registration pages. The rest of the stuff that happens after you run the webinar, Webinar Jam does an excellent job with, so they can apply tags based on if they attended or didn't attend. So we're going to focus more on this beginning part and show you kind of what pluses can do with that. So I've kind of already talked about a few of the elements. The last couple things are inside the sequence itself. So you'll see like we have a way to have people registered for the webinar itself just right here. And then we can send out our reminders. Um, and in the reminders themselves, I can pull in information from Webinar Jam and we'll show some examples here. So like we can say, hey, there's your name. Just want to remind you that your webinar is starting tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific. You can use the join link below to attend and we'll give them the join link um, and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty, pretty cool. And we should be able to go from here into plus this now and set the rest of this up. So let's go ahead and do that. So back here in plus this, the first thing I'm going to do is pick the webinar I want to run this with. So once you've connected with Webinar Jam, they all just show up right here. And then we can pick what time the webinar will be. So we'll use the one right here from the webinar settings themselves that I put in Webinar Jam. And then down here, I can store the live webinar link. So I have a webinar join link right here. Let's go ahead and use this. And then um, what this basically comes back to is when we store this, it's storing it in a field so that when we want to send our reminders, like that registration success email, all we have to do now is go to where we want that join link, click in here, click merge, and go to our custom fields, and that will pop up here. So there's our webinar join link right now, and that will let you merge it in. So it makes that really easy for us. So that's what we're doing there. Um, I'm going to skip the next two. I don't really need them right now, but they're here if you want them. You can store the replay webinar join link and the session dates and times. So a lot of times when I'm running a webinar, it's pretty straightforward what that date and time is. So I just put that into the email itself. But if you want to store it and just use the joint or the custom field to store it and then merge that in, you're welcome to do that too if you prefer that method. Um, otherwise, what we'll do next is we'll do one last thing. If you want to have a tag applied when they successfully register, um, so let's see if I have a tag. Yep, registered for webinar. We can use this. And this is another optional thing you can do. Basically what we can do is we can have a tag applied once they've registered. So they've gone through here. We go ahead and we use this to register them. And then we can wait and not send them reminders until after they have a tag applied. Um, and then we can do another sequence to actually send the reminders if you want. Um, typically, this is fine to do if you just want to make sure everything is in there before we actually send the reminders. Otherwise, I recommend putting some time before you send that first uh, registration success email or anything else so that you give it enough time for that information to populate into those fields if you're merging in things like their join link or their start times and stuff like that. So that's just another precaution you can use if you want to. All right, and then lastly, we'll just give this a name. Uh, let's do, sorry, Webinar Jam Demo. Cool, give it a name here. We'll copy this, and then this is the actual HTTP post that we want to run to actually register people. So the way we implement this part is we just go back to that campaign, and it's right here actually, but just to kind of give you your context again, 
after someone in our existing list clicks a link saying, yep, I want to join that webinar, I want to be registered for it, we can have it so it runs into this campaign. Same thing with your forums or your landing pages where you might be running ads to to get people to register for that webinar. So once the first thing they get when they come through here is this little HTTP post we want to run, you, you just drag it out. That's how you do these. And then once you've dragged one out, this is what it looks like. It starts blank like this, and we just go ahead and paste in our, our join link, or the join HTTP post URL from here. And now you are done. So that gets everyone registered. Now all their stuff will appear in their emails that they get for this, and so on. So that is a little Webinar Jam demo for you. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions or want to see even more details, I recommend checking out our tool information portal over here. This is where you can see things like more details on the different configuration settings, um, some things around the FAQs, and also you're able to see our, um, our knowledge base where you can get more detail about the setup for these things, more videos, that kind of stuff. So that's about all I have for you today. If you have any other questions, go ahead and reach out to us at help at plusthis.com. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.